Hey guys, it's Jackie. Hi, hi, hi. It's Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys and Jackie. So I'm back in Seattle, actually Olympia. I'm staying with my friend Sarah. And I have a kitty cat. I don't know if you can see her right here, but she's helping us with the tarot reading this morning. <laughs> Let me show you the kitty. Hold on. Hold on. There she is right there. Do you see her? There's, there's my helper. There's my, here, say hi to everybody, hi. So she's gonna help us with the tarot reading this morning. It feels so nice. She's so cute. Her name is Bobby. But I keep wanting to call her Boots for some reason, don't know why. I think that's her alter ego, Boots, but she's really Bobby. So anyway, how's everybody doing? Thank you for all the travel mercies yesterday or the day before. I landed at Seattle at like a 11, no, 10.30. My sweet friend Lois picked me up and I spent the night with Lois last night or the night before. Spent the night with Sarah last night. And so, yeah, it's beautiful in Washington. It's nice to be back. It really feels good. So thank you for all the travel mercies. Thank you for all the prayer. I really appreciate it. Okay, so calling in our angels and our energies for today. Whoa, one just jumped out. Calling for the world. Yeah, the world. The cycle is complete. We can start new things. Yay! <laughs> We're saying yay! Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for all the love and light. I'm just thankful for everything. We can all say thank you that cycles are complete. And when, when things are complete, then you can move forward, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just thankful for that. Okay, what else just jumped out? What was that? What was that? Okay, so we need to just see things from a different perspective. Hangman reversed. So it, it's this is kind of a warning, like, okay, so don't get stuck in old ways of thinking. Don't, don't allow yourself to be stuck. And all ways of thinking. We might need to change our mentality, our perspectives. Because old cycles are complete. So it feels like anywhere where you may have had a perspective in the past, it's time to really let that go because that cycle is done and over with. Again, it's dead and gone. Wow. I keep hearing that, like it's dead and gone. So yeah, just let it go, let it go, let it go. That means let old things pass away. Don't let yourself stay stuck in old scenarios, old mentalities, old perspectives, limitations. Our perspectives can limit us. So don't allow yourself to be stuck in ways of being that don't match you anymore. Oh, wow. Queen of Cups reversed. She fell out. So she, I picked her up in the reverse. So anywhere where you're not having emotional, I want to say emotional stability, but even emotional availability, Allow yourself to get out of this situation. Ask yourself, where am I emotionally unavailable? And would you be willing? Oh, shoot, my battery. Okay. Would you be willing to allow yourself to be available to new things that want to come your way? And that's part of being in a new way of being. That's, that sounds redundant, I know. But, like, there's a new cycle wanting to happen. With a new cycle, allow yourself to be new. Again, any, any old limitations, let them fade away. Allow yourself to experience what wants to happen now. Hey, Kendra. Oh, guess what wants to happen? Two of Cups wants to happen. So this is beautiful. Allow yourself to experience the Two of Cup energy. Allow yourself to be open to see what life has for you now. Life has beautiful things. Oh, even if something didn't happen in the past, even if something broke up, fell apart in the past, don't let that limit you. Allow yourself to be open to what the universe wants for you now. Allow you, oh, the, That's too many, Spirit. So yeah, so there's a cycle complete. New things want to show up, but that requires us to step into new ways of thinking, having new perspectives, to being emotionally available to things that want to come towards us. I mean, I'm not saying just let everything and everyone come towards you, like to... Use discernment, use your, use your higher self, your highest perspectives to lead and guide you, but allow yourself to be open again, 
especially if you had some heartbreak in the past or things didn't go well in your past. Try not to let that limit you in your belief system about yourself and the world because there's beautiful things wanting to happen in your life. So, Spirit, what is the final advice? Ooh, that jumped out. Did you see that? It jumped. Oh, don't. Okay, so two things want to say. Two things I want to say. Someone may be feeling grief about something that happened. If this could be still you or it could be someone else. And that could be the perspective that you're still maybe wrestling with. Don't allow yourself to stay in grief. Allow this grief. Allow it to process your body, your mind. Allow the grief to pass. Acknowledge what didn't happen. Acknowledge what happened, you know. Don't hide what wants to be seen but we're coming out of this heartbreak okay it's important come out of this heartbreak energy now and someone else may still be grieving something that happened with you or without you i don't know this might also feel like somebody else's energy but you have to you the collective i'm speaking to the ones that are in our collective here don't get stuck in this heartbreak if this is you don't get stuck in there come out of this heartbreak energy because there's new things wanting to happen there is there's something happened in the past we know this we acknowledge that something happened in the past that may have hurt our feelings <coughs> cause us to be unavailable but it's time now to receive the healing the love and the light that wants to come towards us because we can trust that universe source creator has beautiful things in store for us because the very first card is the cycle is complete. The world is open towards us. The world is our oyster. So allow yourself to step into that new energy. And it's up to us. Got to let go of the old to embrace the new. Oh, and to take charge. <coughs> All of a sudden, I'm getting this weird thing. <coughs> so somebody's not wanting to say something to you. Or they're getting choked on their words. Somebody, it, collective, there's somebody in your reality that's having a hard time saying something to you. So there may be a, a need to be grac gracious because somebody is choking on their words. They want to come forward. They're feeling heartbroken about what happened and they want to talk to you, but they're having a hard time. I literally got choked. So wherever that is in your reality, we're asking for peace and healing we're asking for healing of whatever needs to be said. May it come forth with ease. And may there be healing happening now. For whoever that resonates with, allow yourself to say what you got to say with ease and grace. And let there be just a peace and calm and a forgiveness and a compassion. Whatever that energy is that's trying to choke you, let it dissipate now. And breathe in healing, love, and light, knowing that everything happens for our highest and best. And let healing happen so we can move forward to a new way of being and a new way of living and creating life. Because we want to create life with love and peace and grace and abundance. We're calling in love and light and abundance. So it is and so it is. Yes. All right. Well, that's our reading for the day. I hope that you guys are well. I'm available for private readings. And again, I'm back in uh, Washington State. So thank you all for the travel mercies and all the prayer and the love and light. I so appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.